Hey there, everybody. Steve at My Chief Skills. Hey, uh, today we're going to look at making this column just using a single molding polyline. Very simple, and it's a good exercise to use to learn how to use molding polylines. There's other ways to do these columns. You can use solids. You can just use products out of the library. But uh, in this exercise, we're just going to experiment with a molding polyline and see how quick this can be done. It's pretty fast, pretty easy, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get into this and see how easy this really is. So I'm going to use a molding polyline, and you get that right here. Click this tool, and here it is right here. And I'm just going to go six by six. And so now I have this molding polyline in here, and I'm going to double click it and add a molding. And the first thing I'm going to use is this dash 001, which is a baseboard, but it's just a piece of wood, and I'll just use that. And we're going to extrude to the inside here, but I'm going to make it, say, 1 inch by 108, 9 feet tall. And that is it. And we basically have our post. So if we look at that, there's our post. So even here in 3D, I can just add, I'll just double click, and I'm going to... Actually, and this is something people don't know, you can add you can add a name here. So I'm just going to call this post. And I'm going to make a copy of this and call it the base, stone base. I'm just going to put stone. And I'm going to make it, oh, say 8 inches by 36. And, and you can see, and I'm not going, it's going to be extruded to the outside. So here in the preview, you can kind of see it coming together. In fact, I think I'll make it like 10 by 36. And then I'm going to click OK so we can see what we got. And there's our base. And then we can just take this here and paint some stone on it. If we can find some real quick. Uh, I like to use something out of the manufacturer's. I have a filter here. Let's just do this brick and stone. Uh, let's just pick up just whatever. It doesn't matter. Let's pick a eh, something like this for now and paint it. So there you go. Now I'll double click this again and let's put a base. Let's put a cap on this. So I'm going to um, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to just hit duplicate, make copy. And I am going to call this cap, base cap. And I'm going to make it 12. And I'm going to make it 3 inches tall. And the vertical offset, I'm going to make it 36. And you can see in the preview right here and that it's going to look pretty good. And there it is. So there's our stone cap. And then let's put a wrap around this. So again, I'm just going to add new here and I'll just use the dash 001 again. We'll call it wrap one and we will make it one inch, say, by seven and a quarter and vertical offset 39 and not to not inside. So we'll look at it again. There's your wrap. One more. Let's just duplicate, make a copy, and call it wrap two. And this time we will put it at 109, 108 to the top and not extrude inside. And then we'll have our wrap on the top. And there is your column. It's that simple. You can just use one molding and create the whole thing. Now, once you have this, feel free to click it and use the little chair symbol down here and make it a symbol. You call it. Um, six by uh, post six by six with stone base I'm gonna put it two because I think I've already done one click OK and on the 3d um, sometimes I change this to 25 and then all we need here is sizing so I'm going to put a stretch plane right here so the post stretches. So on the height, I'm just going to go, say, 54 and see it's right there. And then on the width, we'll do zero. So it's in the middle 
as you can see. And on the depth, we'll just go minus 15, half, the, half this distance. And it'll put that one right in the middle. And then click OK. And it'll put in your library. And then you have a symbol that you can use over and over. And it should stretch properly, too. So if we click here and I go like this and I go, say, four, well, six by six. And then the one thing you'll want to do is if you do that, you want to use this symbol over here, open the library symbol for editing and regenerate the 2D block. OK, so it'll actually represent what you actually have. And so if we look at that. There's your column stretched out. And if we want to make it taller, we can stretch it without distorting the base. So there's a quick lesson on how to use moldings to create a column that you can use over and over, put it in your library and save it. And quick tip for the day. Hope that helps.